Hi friends, it's Liz here. Thank you for joining me today. I have another quick and easy project to share with all of you today. And um, this is making these little window pockets. Um, I am in love with how they turned out and um, I'm going to show you how to make one of those today. So I wanted to be able to see my image through the window and um, with the leftover bits, I also ended up making this other accordion little folder or clutch, I should say. Um, it's based on my second video that I made on that clutch. Um, for this project, I'll be using my own digital paper, which is my um, Shavi Chic Fabric Collection one. And I'm just going to show you the different ones I've made, where the idea came from. Um, I wanted to have the little window so I can see through it, but I wanted to see the images on both sides. So I started working in my ideas journal. If you don't know what that, that is, I have a few of them and I will link the flip through of them below. You can see here that you can see the full image through the window with nothing blocking it. And that's sort of where I wanted to go with this project, but I wanted something easy, something I already had on hand. And so of course, um, this is what came of it. Now, the way I made this one is you've got your little flip out with your window and then you've got a nice large pocket in the back and it depends on where you want to attach this as well. Um, this is one of my tags from one of my tag printables. I will link that below. My shop and everything will be listed below. This is from my orchids and vintage paper collection. So the back of it for this one, I did decorate it with coffee stained paper and a little bit of extra paper on it. But if you wanted to add this to a journal page, you wouldn't need to decorate the back. I made a different size as well. And I really like how this one came out. It's a bit smaller, but I'm liking the size. Again, you see the uh, floral through both sides. Oh, and this is my latest um, tag collection with the florals. I will link that below. It's got the vintage ledger and um, just beautiful flowers on it as well. So um, I've just added that to the back of this one. Again, coffee stained paper. And then the um, little set that I made here with my own printable, as I mentioned, I really like how it came out because I used every little piece of my, you know, eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. Um, so for this one, as I mentioned before, I've shown you how to make something similar in my um, tutorial for my clutches. So this one was based on the second um, video that I shared on how to use your eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper. I will link that below. I like how it turned out. I love how vintage and shabby chic it looks. It looks like a little clutch purse. And I like the little button that I found to, um, to close it. So for this one here, same thing with uh, using my digitals, but you can use anything you want. I really liked how the yellow flower kind of looked through. And you can see again, you've got the you know um, pocket that pulls out your tag. Again, these are all my digitals that I've used to make this one here. So this is what we're going to make. We're going to make one of these uh, window pocket um, flip outs. Again, for this one, I did add coffee stained paper in the back because um, the reason I'm doing this is I'm thinking I'll just be sending this little set in snail mail to a friend. Um, so this is actually the latest tags printables in my shop. You'll get a set of five, but here I'm just showing you these um, four. The other one I was using in the project here. Um, and I love how it came out with the, um, you know, the ledger paper. It's very vintage ledger looking paper. And I've got the, the orchids and the different flowers. This one's just a little journaling card that I added as an extra. So that's in the shop if you wanted to take a look. So now I'm going to get started to show you how to make this one. I love working with, um, you know, lots of different pieces that you can use and you can have at home, I should say. Um, this is how you would be able to attach your little flip out pocket in a journal if you wanted to. So you've got your, you know, back pocket there and you can still add another pocket on the side, depending on how you glue this down. So you could have lots of little tuck spots with this one. And it's got the nice little flip out window uh, that I think looks just really, really nice. So again, as I mentioned, I'll be using my own printable for this one, but you can use any paper that you want. I did like using the, um, in half by 11 sheets of paper because it's a little bit thinner to work with and it doesn't make it so thick and chunky when you're working in this project. The next thing I want to show you again is how the tags look. This is the ones that I'm using. They're in my shop. And I just want, really wanted to show you what it looks like um, just in case you wanted to take a look. So that's one of the designs here that you see on the bottom left. 
Okay, so let's get started. Here's what you're going to need, and I'm sure you already have this at home. Junk mail envelopes. Yay, I have lots of projects showing you how I use these, and I will link that below as well. I've made journals, I have made booklets, so many things with junk mail envelopes. I'll link some of those videos below. So you need two of the same company, and the reason I'm saying that is because you want your windows to match. And so I've selected these ones to use. Now I'm just going to show you how I cut off the pieces that I'm not going to be using for this particular project. And then I'll come back once I've cut them up. So here's what they look like. Save these for later. Um, so these, this is what it looks like. You want to open up your envelope so that it it's like a little booklet. So what I'll be doing is I'll just be cutting up some of the edges so I can open it up and I'll show you what that is right there. Okay. And I'm going to clean these up a little bit because it's a little messy on the top. I don't need that much of it. I just, you know, I, I'm going to clean it up and show you what that looks like. So there we are. So what you need to do next is um, see how you can see the window film on one end. I didn't want that uh, for the project. So I made sure to kind of put one on top of the other. And then this way, when I sandwich my flower in between it, I'll have a nice clean surface to work with. If I had left it the other way because of the plastic film, I wouldn't be able to glue my paper properly on it. It would just keep coming off, I think. So this is what it's going to look like when you've glued it together. So I'll be adding my flower in the center and then um, I'll be gluing that on. Now, this is where I have to say, I have filmed this video a couple different times making several different projects and I completely forgot to record the right video. So when I was actually clicking record, so I thought it was actually turning off the camera and I was showing you, not really because it was turned off, the wrong part of the video. So I apologize for that and that's why you kind of see these little bits and pieces that don't match. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be adding my flower in the center. I'll show you that with the other video that I had filmed that again, it was just, I'm not sure what happened. I just really wanted to get this video out to you guys and I didn't want to keep filming it over and over again. So showing you again, I will be adding my little um, floral inside the uh, window envelope. And the reason you see a different, um, you know, envelope, etc., is because like I said, I filmed this several times and I just don't know what happened. So anyways, this will give you an idea of what I'm talking about. You take your little floral, or you can use a washi sticker, or you can use anything that you want to see through the window. And I wanted to see both sides, as I mentioned. So I made sure to um, have something that, you know, will look nice through the window, but you can still see through the window because that was what I was going for in this project. So once you've lined it up and you like the way it looks, the next step is just to glue the sided of the sides of the window together. So you've sandwiched your little flower in and I'm just going to quickly show you um, how I just, you know, quickly glue this on. Again, I apologize for the uh, choppy video, but I think you'll get the idea. What I just wanted to make sure is that you saw how I did it. So the next step is making our pockets and you see how you've got your two little pieces here. You'll just be gluing on two sides. I'm gluing my bottom and my open side on my right. And this one, this way it makes a top a pocket for this little um, flip out, window flip out thingy. So you see there, I'm just adding glue to two sides and now I've got my top pocket for my project. So the next step is really just covering up your um, little flip booklet here. Um, take your favorite piece of paper, make sure you, um, you know, you measure. I do this really just by eyeballing it. So I'll just kind of add, you know, the page that I want to see through the back, cut the piece out and then glue it on. So that's what you'll see me doing here. And then I just make sure not to cover the actual window itself. So there's a lot of straight lines in this project. You know, you're cutting lots of rectangles and squares to make sure that it covers the entire envelope or the part you don't want to see. Um, and then it, there's a nice sort of um, visual through the window once you've glued on your papers. So here uh, I'm just showing you how I'm just adding the piece to the back. Make sure that you don't glue it right to the edge of the fold because then you'll have a hard time closing your fold. 
So see how that's turning out already? It's looking really nice. I like how the butterfly kind of peeks through. Now I'm just going to cut off the edges because I didn't like, um, you know, that it was a, a little bit uneven. And again, I apologize. My camera, you know, I pressed stop when I should have pressed record. So, okay, so that's what that turns up looking like. And now I'm just cutting up the rest of the pieces to add to the sides and the front um, of this little booklet. And that's really all there is to it. I'm just going to be measuring, just sort of, you know, putting my pieces together. I like to just use my pencil to mark where I'm going to be cutting. And then I like to just flip things over on the um, reverse side once I've glued it and then just cut off any extra pieces. So here again, I'm just showing you just with a pencil, I try and kind of mark my lines and then just, you know, eyeball that and cut it nicely to fit. This project is so forgiving, my friends, because you can certainly, um, you know, kind of make it a little bit more like a, of a collage and a little bit messier if you wanted to, it's up to you. But for, for me, I wanted to see the window just clearly through my envelopes. I didn't want to obstruct it with, um, you know, collaged papers and stuff. So I'm just showing you here, my little strips have been cut up. I'm going to be adding them on and then finishing off the project just with my leftover bits again. I'm just cutting up the extra little bits that are left in the center. And then I'll just be gluing those right onto the project. So here it is all finished by the magic of me finally turning on my camera. Again, if you wanted to cover the back, this would be the the time to do it but if not you can leave it like this and just add it to a journal page so um that's it this was my little share oh i did want to show you as well what i did with the leftover envelope bits that i showed you um, at the beginning and i asked you to save that um, i'll show you what i did with those so here is the finished product i love how it turned out so easy to do you recycle envelopes which i love and they turn out looking so beautiful um, again, if you wanted to add it to your journal page, this would be how, you know, you would add it on either side. So you've got your top pocket and then you can also add another pocket on the side. Again, like I mentioned, depending on how you glue it. So I love how this turned out. And I think, um, you know, sending this to a pen pal or uh, in snail mail to a friend, the little set I think would be so adorable and it's things that you've repurposed and made beautiful. This again, I wanted to mention. So when I asked you to save those bottom pieces of your envelopes, this is what I did with it. So I grabbed my little extra pieces and then I did my a little accordion uh, clutch again. Again, I'll link that video below. It's the second video that I shared with you because um, it's a different way that I folded the paper. So this is what that looks like. And can you just imagine filled with nice ephemera and you've got a nice recycled yet beautiful project to send to a friend. Um, and I think it's just a nice little you know, thing to share. Um, again, I hope you enjoyed the share. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell or else YouTube won't let you know I have a video apparently. So many people are having issues with that, but thank you for spending this time with me. I hope you like the share. If you do make some, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. Let me know on Facebook and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for stopping by.